Hey, how's it going guys? Jack Meadow with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna be talking about the top budget cases in our opinion. These are all cases we have used here on the channel for our PC builds. And we're gonna give you our recommendations, especially if you're looking to build a PC in 2021. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's spot. Today's video is brought to you by ASRock and their Z590 Extreme Wi-Fi 6E motherboard. This motherboard comes packed with support for 10th and 11th gen Intel CPUs, has blazing fast Wi-Fi 6E support, and a patent pending graphics card holder that keeps your GPU supported no matter what case you use. And of course, it has that patented ASRock super sleek design that will be perfect for your next Intel gaming rig. So please check the link in the description down below to learn more, and special thanks again to ASRock for sponsoring today's video. So in this Video, we're just gonna be talking about some of our favorite cases that we've seen along the way and that we've gotten to build in. So there's no specific price range. Most of them are under $100 on the bright side and there's no specific timeline or anything for when the case came out. First up is a case we just built in on our $500 New Year's PC build. If you haven't seen that video, hit the on the top right corner, but it is the Mustech Mini Mesh case. That case comes with five RGB fans pre-installed and it's typically under $80 as most of Mustech's cases are. They're actually a pretty cool company. I think they're only on Amazon, but basically they have tempered side glass. They have airflow cases now and all of their cases come chock full of RGB fans that are fully programmable and customizable. It's a pretty good bang for the buck. The mini case is great for budget micro ATX builds where you wanna have a lot of RGB ready to go so you can just build in it and not have to worry about configuring your RGB with a bunch of different brands and stuff like that. It does have a magnetic side panel with a little pull lever that's actually kinda of cool. I love the magnetic side panel cases with tempered glass. That's kinda of like the future PC cases right now. And we hope to see those a lot more coming into this year, but the overall build quality is very acceptable for the price point and anything from Mustex is definitely a must have. Next up on our list is the Dark Flash DLM series case. The reason that I say series is because there's a DLM 21, DLM 22, and there's a couple other numbers as well because they have a mesh front one, they have a non-mesh front one, they have some that have like a designed front that's not mesh, so it gets a little bit complicated. However, the actual case and the chassis is pretty much all the same on them. They have a really nice swing out front glass panel, which is magnetic and everything, no screws, and you can just pull the panel off. And they also have really cool mounting for fans as well. The mesh version is the DLM21, and that one will give you nice airflow and be able to show off some front RGB fans, which is what we like to see in most budget cases. And it is readily available. You can buy it on Amazon and Newegg pretty easily at a good price. It does not come with RGB out of the box like some of the other cases we're talking about in this video, but just throw in a cheap up here RGB fan pack, which is what we definitely recommend you do. And you can make this thing look really nice while not even getting close to $100. Now one thing to keep in mind is that pretty much all of them are micro ATX cases, so you need to either use a mini ITX board or a micro ATX board. Now the next case is the Montech X1. It's a case that's kind of become popular on YouTube for budget PC builds because it comes with a ton of RGB fans. Well quote unquote RGB fans. Jax will talk more about that here in a minute, but it is a pretty decent case for under $60. So most of the time you can actually get this case between $50 and $60, and it comes with, I believe, four RGB fans installed. I think it's three in the front, one in the back. And what's awesome about it is that, well, it comes with the fans installed, ran, ready to go. You just have to literally plug it into the power supply or motherboard. The only downside is the fans are just always on RGB mode, and I don't even think it moves. It's literally just like a static, RGB. Now, if you just like the RGB colors, I honestly think it's a great case. However, if you're not an RGB fan, if you want to be able to do custom colors, you cannot do it with this case. It does come with tempered glass. In a case with all those fans pre-installed and the fact that it does come with tempered glass at under $60 most of the time, the price of performance you're getting with the Montec X1 is definitely there. Just you have to love RGB to get this case. Just know that um, that's pretty much where you're getting the value out of this one. Another case that we've been using a lot over other other company PC Bros is the uh, Pivia Prodigy black case. We've actually used the white variant as well. They do have a pink one too, which there's not a lot of pink cases out there, but long story short, it comes with two RGB fans in the front and one in the rear. So you have your full intake exhaust setup ready to go. It's basically filled with fans, which is nice. You get all these cases where they have a bunch of extra fan slots. And while this one just comes ready to go, it's micro ATX or mini ITX. So it's a much smaller case. It has glass side panel. It has the full basement, which all of these cases will have a power supply basement because honestly, we don't mess with cases anymore that don't have power supply basements unless it's like a sub $300 build. 
One thing I forgot to mention about all the cases that do come with pre-installed RGB fans, all of them have RGB buttons. That's a big thing, especially if you're getting into the RGB ecosystem and downloading software and having to use the motherboard to program your RGB can be a pain. All these do use a physical button on the case. You can actually change the RGB. So that's a big thing. And this case is no exception. And now the last main case we have in this roundup is the Cooler Master MB311L. You guys have probably seen us use this case multiple times in the channel for multiple giveaways as well. We really love the case because for one, they have an airflow version, which is the MB311L. And also it comes with RGB fans pre-installed. Now this one, to my knowledge, only comes with two RGB fans in the front. So you get a little bit less RGB. It's an acrylic front with an acrylic side panel. So for 50 to $60, Yes, you get the nice RGB fans, you get the nice Cooler Master name brand. However, you do get acrylic, um, which is a little bit sucky. And this one is also micro ATX only. So of course, mini ITX boards or micro ATX boards can be used in this case. So that is kind of a drawback, but when we're talking budget cases, you're probably doing a budget build that comes with a micro ATX board anyway. So it does look a lot nicer than going with a full size board. And of course, this case is from Cooler Master. Having a brand that has been in the space for a long time does give you a little bit more, well, trust when buying a product like this. There are a lot of other case companies like we mentioned in this video, but a lot of them are newer. So you might gravitate more towards the Cooler Master case just because it is a name brand, but it is still a really awesome case for the money. And we have used it a lot in PC builds here on the channel. Another case that we have an honorable mention is the Montec Flyer. So this case is similar to the Cooler Master MB 311, except it doesn't have RGB fans in the front. It does have a solid front, but it has an RGB strip. It has a basement. It is uh, acrylic for the side panels. So similar to the Cooler Master MB311, but you don't get the nice ARGB and you don't get the nice front mesh panel with the fans. This is like the cheap of the cheap case. Like the Montec Flyer is probably as low as you really should go for a really cheap build while not sacrificing on build quality and actually getting something that still looks pretty nice. We've done some quote unquote higher end builds in this case and they do turn out really good. So the Flyer is definitely a good honorable mention and Montec in general just makes a ton of awesome cases for the money. So be sure to check the link in the description down below. Below. I'll try to link some other suggestions uh, other than the ones we mentioned in today's video, which are affiliate links, by the way. You purchase using those links, they do help us out. Uh, but we are really happy with the cases we selected in this roundup. And uh, yeah, we'll try to include some extra ones in the link in the description down below. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. So you guys have probably heard that we do giveaway streams. So you do have to go over and follow us over at twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Maybe even drop a subscription if you'd like. Also check out our Discord because we do post every time we go live and every time we post a new YouTube video as well. Want to win a PC? Do what he said. All right, goodbye.